Hello, welcome to Nate's Studio Desk. Today we're going to review ArchiCAD 24, its newest features, and specifically get into the Paramo function, which I think is one of the most exciting features of the new release. Hopefully this video will help decide if you should upgrade and some of the newest and exciting features that ArchiCAD 24 has to offer. As with every software update, there are always those things that you're excited about that they introduce, but still very frustrated that they did not introduce other features. For instance, simple things like multiple level stairs. But other than that, I think we're looking at a pretty good upgrade. Finally, they have a new functionality, which is called Pramo, which is a visualing script that helps create the GDL objects. Now, it is still very limited. You can really just do basic shapes and, you know, make those really complex, but it's more about object and shape creation. So, so far, I think it's really, you know, if you want to make a furniture component or something along those lines, you can't do more complex, um, you can't do more complex operations yet. However, I do think that in the future, you know, 25 and 26, and in the future, I think there's a lot of potential. I know that they're just going to be adding on to this GDL editor. You're going to be able to put in plugins to the, to the new Paramo. I'm sure that over time that this is going to get really robust. And so I'm really excited about this add-on. It's really, honestly, it's not there yet, but it's, it's the starting point and it was a huge shortcoming of ArchiCAD and, the, and they addressed it. And so I'm very happy about that. What I'm not happy about is you still cannot do multi-level stairs. Now, this is frustrating. You can do this in Revit and in other programs, uh, but you cannot do this in ArchiCAD, and I wish that they had made that specific update to ArchiCAD 24, but we can hope for 25. Okay, so to access the Pramo function, I'll just quickly show this. Libraries and Objects, Pramo, and we'll do New Object and you just drag in these blocks here, whatever you want to create for your object, and then give it the variables that you want. So sort of similar to Grasshopper, and it allows you to create your own GDL object much easier than its original scripting. As you can see in the options that are available so far, pretty limited in the functionality, but I think that will change uh, in the future. In the vein of GDL objects, you can import a Revit object, however, as a non-editable content. So that doesn't really mean anything to me. That sort of defeats the purpose of a BIM. Yes, you'll have better, um, I think there'll be better integration with your, your consultants with this new update, but you can't sort of bring in the stairs or another family and use it like a GDL family. It's a little disappointing. I think it's it's not, I think it would be pretty difficult to merge those two or make those two compatible, um, but that would have been pretty awesome to have that, but uh, we don't. The next thing that I think is uh, pretty exciting is this built-in physical analog analytical model checking, and this just allows you to do design options. And I think in a collaborative environment, it will let you sort of get around some of the annoyances of um, the Rev Innovation filters and maybe propose some design changes and uh, in an easier way. So that will be a pretty nice feature. So the next one, and this is sort of in line with the new uh, GDL Paramo is this Python script and they already made scripts ready to go. And I think this is really exciting um, that we can now use Python. And I think this will um, really increase a lot of uh, functionality. So uh, pretty excited about this. To launch the Python script, you go to Options, Work Environment, More Options. So Options, Work Environment, More Options. more options and then here you will do under experimental features switch on enable python checkbox open the python palette from window palettes python so python palette 
Yes, I'll help. No, thank you. Window, palettes, window, palettes, and then we have our Python palette here. And then you can add scripts, and they actually offer scripts already just to show you some example scripts on, on the web that you can download and cut and paste. Cool, so those are the main highlights. Hopefully this was helpful, and you'll know if you want to upgrade to the new Archicad. Thanks, have a good day.